What's up, YouTubers? Hardworker12 here with two Subaru Ascents today. That white Ascent is a touring model with seven passenger seating. That white Ascent is a premium model with eight passenger seating. So what I'm going to do for you today is I am going to uh, measure out the cargo space on the vehicle first so we can have a look at that and then I'm going to go over the differences between the seven passenger seating and the eight passenger seating configuration on the Subaru Ascent. So let's take a look. Width of the rear cargo opening, 47 inches. Height of the rear cargo opening, 31 inches. Length to the back of the second row seat with the seat up, 48 inches. Length to the top of the second row seat with the seat folded down six feet or 72 inches. Maximum height of the interior cargo area, 31.5 inches. And the height from the ground to the lowest level of the cargo area is 33 inches. One more cargo measurement because I forgot to do it. From the back of the third row seat to the end of the cargo area, you're looking at about 20 inches, 20 and a half inches, let's say, of cargo space with the third row seat up. Now, regardless if it's a seven passenger or an eight passenger, the third row is always the same on the Subaru Ascent. It's going to be three across, so you have three people you can sit in the third row. And if you pull this little cord right here, you pull the seat up, pull this guy to recline it. There is a couple of different positions of recline for your third row seat. Put the headrest up. And there's a little button here to drop the headrest and then pull this cord to fold it flat. So the third row seat is consistent amongst all of them. So I'm gonna show you the eight passenger model first. So this has the bench seating on it. You can see I have that seat placed up. It is adjustable. There's a bar under each side that you can uh, kind of adjust the leg room and proportion it between the second row and the third row. Um, you have a couple of handles here. If I pull this one, it's gonna let people get into the third row seat and then I can just push it back when I'm done. And if you want to recline it, you can pull this one to recline or you'll notice down here you have number one and number two. So if I pull number one, and pull number two, that is how I fold the second row seat down. Now, if you want the eight passenger model with the bench seat in it, you're going to have to get either a base base model ascent. Uh, those all come with the bench seat. You have the option of the bench on a premium or a limited. On the touring, it is only going to come with the bucket seats. And we'll have a look at one of those in a second. Now this is a view of an eight passenger ascent with the second row folded flat. And you can see there is still some gap right here in between the third row and the second row seat when they're folded down. But I think the biggest advantage that the eight passenger has over the seven passenger is if you are gonna use this car for big cargo hauling, kind of use it like a van, or if you plan on camping and sleeping in it, which a lot of Subaru customers do, I think that the eight passenger just gives you a much nicer load floor. Um, so if you're gonna be hauling huge cargo or sleeping in the vehicle, the eight passenger may be a better choice for you. Plus you get one more seat belt. But we're gonna have a look at the touring and the seven passenger setup right now. Okay, so now we are looking at an Ascent Touring that has the bucket seats in the back for a total of seven passengers. Now, if you want the seven passenger configuration, you need to either get the touring, which all come with it, or a limited or a premium where you have the choice of either one. You can't get the bucket seats on a base model. Now, the big advantage here is comfort. Each seat has its own armrest, and the kids can sneak on through into the third row. Somebody's put the uh, rear tonneau cover in this one. But uh, the kids can sneak on through to the third row. I find that kids actually seem to prefer the seven passenger seating. I think they think it's a little more fun if they're in the second row, they get their own seat and they can kind of sneak around and walk through the car 
and get in the third row. Um, the controls are pretty much the same. You have this guy right here. If you need to let somebody into uh, the third row seat, you can push it back. You have the bar underneath right here, so you can move either of the uh, bucket seats in the second row forward or back as needed. And then if you want to fold it down, you can pull number one and number two, and down she goes. So you can still fold these flat, but let me show you what that looks like. So here is the back of the Touring cargo area with the third row seat folded down and the second row seat folded down. And you can see they don't really fold down flat, they're kind of at an angle, and you still have the gap right there uh, in the load floor. So again, if you're looking at hauling major cargo, the um, eight passenger model might be better, but you know you still have plenty of room behind the second row seat uh, with the third row folded down. So if you are just trying to uh, have the most comfort and you don't need the eighth seat, the seven passenger may be a better choice for you. And like I said, the kids seem to prefer it. And just for fun with its whole mess of accessories, here is a shot of the cargo area of a touring model with those second row bucket seats up. Of course, it would look the same in any of the other seven passenger models, just not with the brown leather. All right, everybody, so that is my video on the uh, cargo room and the seating configurations on the Subaru Ascent. Weirdly, I realized this was the first video I've ever made on an Ascent, which is strange because uh, I make a lot of Subaru videos and I like the Ascent very much and I've sold quite a few of them, so I'll probably be making uh, maybe a full review of one of these things soon. If you do have any questions about the vehicle, or if there's anything that you would like to see me cover in a future video about these cars or any other cars, please leave it in the comments. I'll do everything I can to oblige. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and have yourself a great day. All right, I'm talking to my camera now. And not you. Uh, not that I don't love you.